Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to do a full face of drugstore. So if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys subscribe, and let's get on to today's video. So for today's video, as I mentioned, we're doing all drugstore. I have all drugstore products that I currently have in my collection in front of me. I'm noticing I'm missing a few drugstore products that aren't really like here. Like I have some blushes. I don't have any drugstore blushes, which is a shame, honestly, because I feel like when I did my declutter, I decluttered a lot of like most of my um affordable drugstore blushes which is kind of a bummer but i kind of want to now go into the drugstore and like actually look at what they have and see if there's anything that interests me as far as drugstore blush one drugstore blush in particular but we're working with what i have today in front of me and we're going to use all drugstore so we're going to start with eyes and i did my eyebrows i don't have any brow product in my eyebrows except for eyebrow gel and I actually mixed my e.l.f. Wow Brow with my Essence Make Me Brow. I've been using the Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum for, I want to say, at least five, it's going to be my fifth week on it. And I see an improvement. So I'm just using two brow gels. I also have the Essence Clear Brow Gel. This is a lash and brow gel mascara that I really do like. So, but right now I only have these two in my eyes, uh, like on my eyebrows, I mean. That's why they look a little bit different. My eyebrows aren't the most even things in my face, but I mean, who 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 has perfect eyebrows? I don't think, unless you get them like microbladed or whatever. But the first thing we're gonna do is eye primer, and I don't have a drugstore eye primer. We're gonna be using my BH Cosmetics Base Booster. I don't know what the deal is with BH Cosmetics. I heard they're being bought out by Make Makeup Revolution, but I'm not even hundred percent sure. So this video is gonna be just about the makeup, and I'm just using a little bit of the eye booster. From BH just on my lids to just have like something to prime and I have a couple of eyeshadows I'm not sure what I want to use I know I want to do a really neutral look because I have a blue dress on and I want to do like a red lip so I don't know where we're gonna go with this but we will see I did get some comments on my jewelry you guys most of my jewelry is from Ross my earrings are from CVS yes CVS I found these really cute chunky gold hoops and they're actually really weighted they were $14.99 I want to say each um, this set has two that has like more rectangular ones that I'm not wearing, but CVS, y'all. Take a look at your CVS. Um, let's start with uh, my eyes, like I said. I have three eyeshadow palettes from Drugstore. Obviously, ColourPop is a huge, uh, more affordable drugstore brand you can find at Ulta. But I also talk, I want to talk about Essence because I have two, I have three and in, in reality I have three, but the other one's like two green, so I don't want to leave in like a green look. But I have the Essence mini palettes and I have the Curl Me Maybe and the nothing compares to nude and i've talked about these you guys these are very affordable they're like 2.99 3.99 each and they have the most beautiful shadows this is a coral me maybe my nails are orange i'm wearing the essie color in tangerine tang or tinge the tangerine i don't even know what it's called but it's an essie, essie color so these are the two that i have i kind of want to mix the two because i want to do like a full liner but i also have a cream gel liner from ColourPop that's in the shade what shade is this sunny sunny veil and i've never used this one before it's brand new so i kind of want to do like a liner kind of look thing with brown but i'm not even sure where i'm gonna go with this so let's just go ahead i'm gonna prime my face while we're doing my eyeshadow i'm using my elf poreless putty primer actually you know what no let's use my makeup revolution candy haze primer this is a very affordable primer you can find at ulta or i know they have it at cvs as well i've seen it there um, this one retails for $8, and it's a very hydrating, sweet, light-scented primer. And it's kind of just like a moisturizing lotion. And I've just really been in love with it because my skin has kind of been, not the dry side, but like more ever so changing. So I don't need the extra hydration anywhere I can get it. And you can just see it does hydrate my skin really well. So I'm just using this on my face as a primer. Like I said, the smell is really, really light. So if you like kind of lightly scented products, I think this would be a good one. It's not overpowering by any means. You can barely even smell the candy in it. So I actually have a, um, a sponge here from ColourPop. I've had like this, like, I think it was like a four pack of the sponges that I got a while back. And I really like them. They're not as soft as I would like, but this one's pretty soft. 
let's start with the coral me maybe i'm gonna go with this dark brown just because i want to make that like smoky look i'm gonna use my flat liner from sigma it's just a flat liner brush and i'm gonna reach into this shade this shade is called star stair was holden stair was holden i don't know and i'm just gonna go ahead and go into my eye I just kind of do like a full liner. I've talked about doing this in previous videos. I like to do this with a lot of my eyeshadows because it got, gets me using them and gets me using a lot of the matte deeper shades that are in these palettes. I really have been kind of staying clear of liquid liner for the most part. It's not always happening, but I have been trying to use more of my shadows, especially my more affordable shadows in like a liner look. There was a palette that I had. It was a mini elf. I think it was called Cream and Sugar. No, it was called. It was like the more cool tone one that had the black in there. Oh my God, that black, you guys. That was the best black from the drugstore that I've had in a while. I forgot what that palette was called. But it was from elf. And it was a little, a little. I think it was truffle. A little truffle quad. Um, it was so pretty. I'm going to grab a crease blender brush and I'm going to go into my Going Coconuts palette. This is from ColourPop. This is currently in my, uh, my shot, my stash. I feel like this is kind of getting old. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's some like bumps in some of these shadows. And it's such a bummer because these were some of my favorite shadows for the longest. And they're kind of, this palette, get, it's getting old. This palette, I think it has a shelf, shelf life of 12 months doesn't even say on here but it's an old palette you can even tell by the packaging it's like rubbing off um and it's not my most used palette from ColourPop so I, it's just kind of a bummer that it's just kind of going to not waste but it's just sitting there you know so I pulled it out for this chop my stash and I've really been enjoying using it but again like I'm saying I feel like some of these shades are definitely definitely going off because they have those bumps and when your eyeshadows start having bumps it could just be a layer of like sometimes it could just be a layer of um what do they call it hard pan but i feel like this is just an older palette it is so hot in here so if you guys see me turn on or hear a background my my ac running is because it's really really hot in here i'm already sweating this is this is sweat it's not because my skin is glowy it's just sweat so let me blend this out a little bit better and then for my eyelid, I have two shades here. I have ColourPop Single Shadows. I wanted to wear this one. This is called Abbott, or a Little Quirky from ColourPop. It's one of their newer shades. And I've just been obsessed with it. Again, it's another product that's in my current project or for my shot mustache. So I'm just grabbing it on my finger here and I'm just gonna add it to my lid. I think this is such a pretty, pretty shade. And it goes well with this eye look. See? Really simple, one and done, two shadows and a single shadow, and that's it. And that is the A Little Quirky from ColourPop. Such a pretty, pretty shade. Now I'm going to go in with mascara. Oh my god, I just dinged this palette. Oh. I'm going to go in with mascara, and for mascara, I'm going to be using another drugstore product. A lot of people do love this drugstore mascara. It's the Essence one. I actually have the purple one. I know a lot of people love the green one. I have that one also in my um, backup store because I do have um, like a lot of drugstore mascaras. I just recently purchased the Milani mascara that I want to try as well because I know some people that I watch currently have been raving about it. But this is the one that I have today and I'm going to be using it. I got a lash lift done, I want to say about maybe three weeks ago now and it's still going good so this is what the wand looks like on this one this is the volume and curl one so i like i said I need to go into the drugstore take a look at what they have and just kind of like see what's new i haven't really been looking online i know that they're all to 21 days of beauty right, right now the sale is going on but i personally am not shopping the sale just because i I was just, there's nothing really that interests me in that sale. So that's the reason why. And I feel like sometimes we see a good deal and we just purchase to purchase. I'm not looking to do that. So this is a really nice mascara. I would say it does keep a curl. But then again, I can't really say much of that because I do have a lash lift and tint 
it's been older like she's had to go back in six weeks so it's kind of coming around the corner maybe at the end of the month but i feel like i still have a pretty good lift in my lashes so that is the essence curl and volume mascara i'm gonna start my base products because, but i'm gonna try my ac on because it's really hot okay i just did my eyes with ColourPop and Essence and a single shadow from ColourPop. For foundation, I have my Revolution IRL Filter Longwear Foundation. This is a breathable soft matte foundation that has a, I'm sorry, 16 hour wear. Um, it is in real life soft matte. And I've actually worn it for 16 hours because I work some doubles sometimes at work and it's true, it does stay on your face for 16 freaking hours. So let's go in with this one. It is a thicker consistency, so I'm doing one pump right now. You can see how thick it is. There's a glop in there. So it is a pretty thick foundation, but it is it is a good, you'll see right now, it's a good coverage foundation. And I have the shade F10. I had purchased F7 and it was way too light, so I went in the store and switched it out. And now I have a good shade for me, good shade match, so. Again, I have the shade F10 if you're anywhere near my skin tone and have been wanting to try this foundation. I just think it's such a good, really true to soft matte foundation and it does not look like really high makeup on, like you can make it look like you're really, really wearing makeup, but I feel like for your drugstore foundation, it's really, really good. It's a good option and it's pretty affordable. So that is the foundation. I would go in with one more pump, but I don't want to overdo it. So I do have some acne. You can say, see it kind of here. But I think I'm going to adjust that with some concealer. And if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my mirror. I have a little standing mirror here. Um, that's like a black standing mirror. But... Again, I really like the finish of this. It's not too cakey. It's my perfect skin tone. And it's a really good lasting foundation as well. So that was the Revolution IRL Filter Foundation. Or Filter, IRL, what's it called? IRL Filter Foundation. Yeah. So that is on my skin. For concealer, I have my NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I think this has replaced my love for the e.l.f. Camel Hydrating Concealer, to be honest, because I had this in my previous, I think it was my previous um, Shot My Stash, and then I have my e.l.f. Um, concealer right now in my Shot My Stash for this week, and I've just been not as in love with the look um, as I am in love with this one, so it's giving e.l.f. a run for its money. And it's just such a nice, light cover, hydrating concealer, in my opinion. It is just such a good drugstore find. And it does remind me of the Kosas. Not an exact dupe, but it is nice. So that is how it looks. I do have a setting powder that I'm gonna use. It's the e.l.f. Camel Foundation. I have the shade e.l.f. Light 280N. And I know a lot of people have been raving about this powder with good reason, guys, because it's such a good powder. I'm gonna grab my powder brush and I'm gonna set my under eyes and a little bit of my T-zone. It just kind of gives, you see the difference it kind of like i swear to god you guys it's like a freaking filter on your face i'm not kidding you're looking at the difference right now look at it like blurs out everything on your skin it looks so nice this is one of those powders you can instantly see a difference like look at that it blurred my under eyes and i love this powder for that reason I think this has become one of my holy grail powders since using it, no lie, because it's just that good. And again, for reference, I have the shade Light 280N. Look at that. You can see it looks like I'm wearing a filter on my face and I'm not, you guys. Like, 
this is my real skin you can see some texture but the under eyes look really blurred and i'm just so happy with this elf powder i cannot this is a good one if you guys are looking for a blurring powder that makes you look like you're freaking wearing a filter get this powder you guys get the powder for bronzer, I have, I could of course use my Soul Body Bronzer from ColourPop, but I think I'm going to go with the all powder route today because I'm wearing a more matte foundation. So let's see, I have the L, uh, Revolution Cool Mega Bronzer, and this is the, um, like it's like a bigger pan. They have a warm version as well, but I got the cool version just because that's what I'm into. Huge pan. I'm going to go into my bronzer brush. And I have really been loving this bronzer. I think it's so underrated. I hear nobody talking about it. I know they also just recently released a cream bronzer. So I'm looking at picking that up in the next, like maybe Ulta shopping spree that I go to. I don't know, I've been kind of in the mood for shopping for some new drugstore products because I've been obsessed with drugstore products lately. I don't know, something in me is like, I have a drugstore bug in me or something that makes me want to try a lot of drugstore products. Because I know they're good, like the e.l.f. products are so good that I've been trying. Um, a lot of my ColourPop I love. I've been loving a lot of Makeup Revolution products and I was not one to reach for Makeup Revolution for a while because I know their eyeshadow palettes are inconsistent, but lately you guys, their face products have been so good. And I know e.l.f. has been doing a really good job as well. They've been um, doing a lot of their like dupes for other products like i know they just came out with a dupe for the hollywood charlotte hollywood filter from charlotte tilbury so this is the bronzer and cool again i don't have a actual blush so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i have these ColourPop fresh kiss lip creams i think i'm gonna use one of these as blush let me see i have the shade baby doll So that's the shade Baby Doll. And then I have the shade Calming Circle from the ColourPop and Hocus Pocus collab. I think I'm gonna go with Calming Circle because it's a little bit more pink. So whatever I have on my hand, I'm just gonna pick up with my sponge, the butt of my sponge, and just add to my cheek to add some color. I've never done this before, so this is the first time I've done this. And it kind of makes me want to do it more because I think this is a pretty color um, on my cheeks. I hope it doesn't break me out. But anything for the love of makeup and trying new things because honestly, I've never done this in my life. This is the first time. I don't have a drugstore blush, you guys. So that was the shade in Coming Circle from the ColourPop and Fresh Kiss lip line, the lip, lip cream color. For highlighter, I have three highlighters. I don't know which one I want to reach for. I'm sorry if I'm like messing with my, my straps a lot. I'm wearing this CVS, or not CVS, Walgreens dress. Really pretty. I have Physicians Formula Let's Toast highlighter. I have my Flower Beauty uh spotlight liquid highlighter but i know this has been sold out for a while and then i have a color pop super shock cheek pearlized um let's go with my physician's formula this is the let's toast it's currently in my shot and stash it is really kick up -y, but it's a really pretty you see all the powder it's a really pretty highlighter Ooh, and it smells divine it smells like soda kind of like wine so pretty and again it's just a nice glow on the skin I'm gonna grab a little bit and put it on my eyebrows so pretty so nice and dewy love this highlighter that was the physicians formula let's toast highlighter from their bread and butter collection really pretty and for lips let's go with my fresh kiss lip in the shade let's vogue I don't have a lip liner that's like black, or I'm sorry, black, red, that's drugstore. I have Morphe, I have some uh, Milani color statement lip liners in the shade Spice. So I think I'm going to use this one just to kind of add some kind of liner to my lips to not like, to 
and I have this ColourPop lip color bleed all over my lips. Now I will say something since I've been using these lip colors, these ColourPop Fresh Kiss lip colors on my cheeks this or my mouth and my mouth on my lips oh my god Karina this week it is not my favorite formula it is not my favorite formula by any means but I bought them I want to use them if it works out using it as a cheek color I'm going to continue to use it as a cheek color to use it up because honestly they're not my favorite formulation so this is the ColourPop Fresh Kiss lip cream in the shade Let's Vogue Let's see. They're just not a favorite. It's a pretty lip color. Don't get me wrong, but... It's just not a favorite, you guys. That is the Let's Vogue um, color on my lips from ColourPop. I want to do like a little bit of a brown on my lower lash just to kind of make my eyelash or my eyeshadow look even. I'm going to grab this tiny little Morphe M506. I'm going to go into the shade Nutty from the ColourPop Let's Go In Coconuts palette. I'll just add some here on my lower lash. And then I'm going to go into Colada, which is the brown matte in the shadow. I'm just kind of add some here. And then I'm going to do my lower lash mascara. For my lower lash mascara, I'm using the mascara that I'm not in love with, but I want to use it up. This is a Double Trouble Mascara from Essence, and it's not my favorite. It works for the lower lash line because of the wand, so it has like two different bristles. It has like a more pointy bristle, and then it has like a more, I guess like more flat, but this is really sticky, or not sticky, uh, really watery and it's not my favorite but i'm using it because i need to use it up my husband bought it for me when he went into the drugstore to find some um kind of perfume backup and i told him while you're in there can you pick up a drugstore mascara and he asked one of the counter ladies like one of the ulta employees and i was kind of happy because you know how i mean don't get me wrong like i love ulta but they usually recommend like the most expensive thing you can think of and they always go for higher end products and i guess this girl was just being honest when he told her i want a drugstore mascara and i think since this was new he she gave him this one and i was like oh that's fine it looks new okay whatever when he showed it to me on the messenger app and he brought it home and i was like oh it looks so pretty i'm excited for the wand but when i started using it more it's just not a fave like it really does nothing for my my lashes it's just if anything it just coats them in mascara product and like I said, it is a bummer because it, it looks like a promising mascara, but it's just, it's not. And I just use it for my lower lashes because of that. I want to get my money's worth. It wasn't that expensive. Like I could just do without and pass it on, but I'm using it because I have it. So I would prefer the Essence Lash Princess mascaras over the new Trouble Trouble, if I'm honest. But I'm using it because it's there. I'm going to let my hair free now. And I'm going to just kind of juice it i did curl it yesterday but the curl doesn't last my hair is too thick and heavy for curls to last but this is the finished drugstore look what do you guys think i'm hoping that the lipstick doesn't break my cheeks out because it is a lipstick it's not really meant for your cheeks but makeup is makeup and the reason i don't like this lipstick you can already tell it's bleeding everywhere like it's going everywhere it's just not a fun time and it doesn't last like if I was to drink something it's really pretty and creamy but it just doesn't doesn't last so I just kind of blotted it with a little washcloth that I have I always use these when I um, do my makeup just to clean like any swatches or anything off but I just blotted a little bit it's not a favorite formulation but I'm using it I prefer my liquid vinyls from Maybelline so yes, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys don't mind me talking about makeup and you guys need to get this powder if you have not already. The NYX Bear With Me Concealer is really, really good. And honestly, this new foundation from Revolution is really pretty on the skin. So I hope you guys have a good day night wherever you guys are whenever you see this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.